Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a video for one of my favorite tropes ever, and that is possessive, jealous, and overprotective heroes, or toucher and Hudai romances. These are my favorite romances. I love it when the hero is just obsessed with the heroine and will do anything to protect her. But before I get into the video, I do want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Max Monroe. I was so excited when Max Monroe reached out wanting to sponsor a video because I read Max Monroe, which is a duo author pair, a few years ago and binged so many of their audiobooks, and so so their new book is called Accidental Attachment and this one is a workplace romance where the heroine is a writer and she has a new editor she has a huge crush on that she actually wrote fan fiction based around him very steamy fan fiction and what ends up happening is instead of sending in her paranormal book to her editor she sends in the fan fiction on accident and it's about him they have to work together editing this manuscript and the lines kind of blur between the professional workplace relationship relationship and it ends up being a friends to lovers romance. It's a rom-com. It just so happens that the heroine is from a small town Ohio with a service dog and she has a medical condition where she has occasional fainting spells so she has her dog with her a lot and I love a good office place romance. We have an irresistible and charming hero and a bit of a slow burn romance but things are definitely going to be heat up just like in her manuscript so if you have not had the chance yet definitely check out Accidental Attachment by Max Monroe. I am so excited to read more of their new stuff because like I said I was reading them a lot in the past and I was obsessed with their office romances the particularly the doctor series where they were like filming like a docu-series about doctors and a couple of those were workplace romances and I was obsessed with them so I cannot wait to read this one check out this book and thank you so much to Max Monroe for sponsoring this video the first recommendation I have for the video is going to be one I just finished on audio I actually have a few that I've recently read and that's why this video was inspired but it is My Dark Romeo by Parker S. Huntington and LJ Shen. This one is a marriage of convenience where the hero on purpose ruins the heroine's reputation at this like big event and their families are very old school. She was already engaged to someone else as an arranged marriage. People saw them. They have to get married now and he is a billionaire and he is for sure like he threatens anyone who could come after his woman particularly like if she's interested in like other people. He's like, you're not going to touch my wife. You're not going to look at her. And there was a moment where their lives were in danger and he literally almost unalived someone because they were threatening her. And I was so in love with that scene. I have another one in here where they literally resort to violence against someone who touches their woman. And I was cheering it on. I was like, yes, please protect your woman. And so that's what happens in this one. They definitely hate each other in the beginning. The heroine is just like horrified that she has to marry him and they do get married. She plays games with him and spends all his money and it's such a fun book. I highly recommend the audio. Jacob Morgan is the male narrator and he has perfection and this book was so good. So definitely check it out. I am obsessed with this edition though. It's so pretty. I do like the original cover as well, but this one's really pretty. He for sure is like, you touched my woman you will no longer be here. Another one that I'm actually in the middle of reading, I am 65, 70% into it, is Offside by Avery Keelan. This one specifically is with an ex, so she was dating someone and he cheated on her multiple times, broke her heart on her birthday, and broke up with her. And she does not on purpose, but runs into his rival hockey player, and she ends up starting a friendship with him, and then they start hooking up, and then she really starts falling for him. And so her ex is a horrible person, but she still goes to the school that her ex goes to, and the other actual hero goes to the rival school and she has to deal with people at her school still and she's a sports journalist so she does have to deal with hockey players a lot and the ex-boyfriend tries to like talk to her and spread rumors about her and just get back at her and the hero is like you stay away from her. At one point he does retaliate on the ice too which I loved. The ex was just being really annoying and trying to push his buttons on the ice and so the hero took him down. And I loved that. I love that scene. I love how much hockey's in this book. I really love the whole dating the rival, but it turns into a very sweet romance. The hero is obsessed with the heroine. He is so in love with her, and I loved it. So check this out. I also have one that comes out tomorrow, and I'm so, so excited for this because we literally have the lines, who did this, or like, who hurt you, and I I love it. I am here for it. That is Echoes of You by Katherine Cowles. This one releases tomorrow. It is a small town romantic suspense where it is a friends to lovers. Our heroine was actually in a very abusive 
abusive relationship. She moved with him to, I think, Atlanta, and now she's back in their small town after a horrific incident with the ex. She broke up with him, but he's still stalking her, and so she moves home, is reunited with her best friend from the past, and they're best friends who are very, like, touchy-feely and cuddly, and they like spending the night together just to, like, to have that protector with you, and of course, things start heating up between them and the hero is finally realizing like what she went through and what happened to her and he literally is like who hurt you I'm gonna take him down and I love the overprotective hero nature in that aspect especially because it stems from their friendship first and I loved it and we have a stalker situation it's romantic suspense so the hero is determined to keep her safe which I really love as well in this kind of trope so definitely read this comes out tomorrow Buy it when you can because five stars, it was amazing. Another one I recently discussed actually in my last video, I have to talk about it again. I wasn't gonna put this video up until Wednesday, but I rearranged some things, so it's back to back. I apologize, but Into the Tide by Laura Pavlov is another one where it's very overprotective because of their relationship prior to their romantic relationship. And this one is a brother's best friend romance, so she is back in town and she has this bucket list of things she wants to do, including some first experiences of hers that the hero could help with, and he is seeing her romantically for the first time. He's like, mm. I like what I see and so they start hanging out more and he's helping her with her list and he's just overprotective though like first off it is his best friend's sister he knows that he should feel protective of her not in the way he does but he knows he does and so he does not want anybody touching her there's another scene in here where he gets all possessive at the bar because someone's touching her and he's like do not touch my woman even though he can't say it's his woman because like they're not supposed to like each other even though they've shared a couple kisses already and i love that aspect in here it's definitely small town as well i just really love his character and check out laura pavlov if you haven't yet then we have the whole like my wife situation as well which is a temporary wife by katarina mora i feel like if you like katarina mora's books you'll like my dark romeo this one again is a marriage of convenience romance and it is his secretary and he is like no one touches you even before they get together because he makes this deal with her that she has to marry him and she'll get like all these promises and like raises and promotions and she's basically his right hand woman she does everything for him she's super intelligent and he has loved her for a long time but he gives her the option to marry him because he needs to get this inheritance he doesn't want an arranged marriage he wants to choose his wife and he's like you're gonna marry me follow these stipulations sure we can divorce later on he has no intention of divorcing he is so possessive of her because it's someone he's been loving for a long time like in his mind she's already his and so that goes on with their relationship from there and i loved it i loved how he treated her though he respected her so much and respected her as a professional as well so i really appreciated the epilogue in here it was so good. I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm like, yes, yes. And he's a billionaire and will throw his money around for whatever he can to win her, which I loved as well. So check this out if you haven't yet. And my next one is one where it's a literal toucher and you die. And that is going to be Haunting Adeline by H.G. E. Carlton. He is her stalker and he literally chops off the hands of someone who touches her. He warned her it would happen. He's like, you are mine, and if you try to talk to anybody or get with anybody, they are no longer going to be alive. And she's like, whatever. To be fair, he was a bad guy. So you don't really feel bad. What's so interesting about this, it's supposed to be like a really dark stalker romance, but the hero who's the stalker is actually a good guy. He has this whole organization where he hunts down bad people and unalives them. He's like a psychopath but like for good and he's obsessed with heroin. He stalks her, he leaves her roses and he shows up at her bedroom and she's into it and it's their romance and I really enjoyed this one. It does have a pretty big cliffhanger at the end and I've heard book two is really really dark but I listened to the audiobook of this one. Teddy Hamilton is absolutely amazing and I would highly recommend reading this one because it was a good time. I really enjoyed it. Definitely a very possessive hero, so check it out. And those are all my Touch Her New Die romance recommendations. Very overprotective and possessive heroes, which are my favorite. So definitely check out these books. And also, make sure you check out Accidental Attachment by Max Monroe. This one's definitely a lighter read compared to the ones I recommend in this video, but this one is, like I said, an office romance and a bookish romance with a writer, and I love bookish romances, and she has a dog. This has so many good tropes. Definitely check this one out if you have the chance, and thank you again to Max Monroe for sponsoring this video. And those are the books that I have. Let me know your favorite overprotective hero recommendations in the comments below. I need more men like this in my life, fictional men. So let me know in the comments and that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.